Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts update video. This one's gonna be a pretty short video because I only have four Blu-rays to show, and two of them are blind buys, and two of them are upgrades. So to give the video a little filler, I did pull out the previous titles that I had that I upgraded. And before I get into showing any of those, I wanna give two shout outs in this video. And the first one, is to a friend of mine who just recently started her YouTube channel like within the past week or so and she has about 140 subs and I told her that I would help her out I would introduce her to the community and I know you guys are very supportive and I told her that you guys would welcome her into the community so her name is Stephanie Beaton and I believe her channel is called the original scream queen Stephanie Beaton I will link that down below hopefully you guys can go and subscribe to her, shoot her a couple of uh, comments on her videos. She has like a variety channel where I think she's gonna do some like paranormal stuff where, with like EVPs and ghosts. And I know some of you guys are into that stuff. And she's also gonna stay true to the horror genre and do some horror stuff. And she's even talking about doing giveaways already. So let's see if we can get her quite a bit over 140 subs that she has and welcome her to the community. Show her some love that you guys always do. And the second one is a guy who's pretty new to my channel. I think he's maybe been subbed a month or so, maybe less. And his name is Controller Cramps, and I'm gonna link him down below. And he's been really supportive of my channel. He's been leaving me some really cool comments. And it means a lot to me that, you know, guys take time to either leave a thumbs up or just to leave a comment. And usually I don't do sub for sub, but I checked his channel out and I really liked it. I did subscribe to his channel. And he had a video today where he showed some of the his recent pickups. And I was pretty blown away because he's he's got the same kind of taste that we all have. And I would like to kind of introduce him more to the community and get him some more subs. He also has about 140 subs right now. So let's see if we can get Stephanie Beaton and Controller Cramps quite a bit more subs and welcome them to the community. Go tell them Toddy Walnut sent you. Leave them a, a comment and... I would appreciate that and they would appreciate that. So let's get into the titles that I picked up. The first one is a Fulci film. This is one that I had seen several times already and this is called The Psychic. And this is more of a murder mystery with horror elements in it. It's not really just a horror film. But it's, uh, it's a pretty cool film and it's very well done and it has a really good storyline. And I, I think this is one of Fulci's better films and there's the original cover, The Psychic, starring Jennifer O'Neill, who was actually, she played such a good role in this movie that David Cronenberg hired her to do scanners after this one. And um, this one does have a brand new 2018 2K scan of the original camera negatives with uh, color correction. And this is a Scorpion Films title it does have some audio commentary with Troy Haworth. His interview with screenwriter Dardano Sacchetti. And it has an audio excerpt from Fulci himself. So I was very glad to upgrade this one, add it to the collection. I picked this up at Ronin Flicks, and it comes with this really nice slip cover. And there's a reversible cover, which this was actually. That was the cover that was on it. I flipped it. That was the reverse. That's the original cover right there. And it also comes with the poster. That's the same image as that right there. So this was an upgrade for me because I did have the... Put this off to the side. I'll take care of that later. I do have the 84 Entertainment Media Book from Germany. And that has the German title of the original Italian title, which was Murder to the Tune of the Seven Black Notes. And that's a mouthful of a title, but they shortened it to the Psychic. And this is the three disc limited collector's edition. This one was limited to 2,000 pieces. I got number 1,280. And this, this was a really nice looking Blu-ray. It was also known as Seven Notes in Black. A lot of these Italian giallo horror films have several titles. 
but this was a nice little media book. I, I still love this media book. Too bad I can't read German, German because it's a, there's an interview with Fabio Frizzi down there. And I would like to read that. That's a really cool image right there of Miss Jennifer O'Neill. And then you had the DVD with the bonus material and there was a DVD with the film on it. So that was a Blu-ray DVD combo. So I'm glad to upgrade that. And then the second one I got was also from Ronin Flicks. And this is Rituals starring Hal Holbrook. And this is a good little uh, backwoods horror and I, I really enjoy this one. This is a pretty underrated film. And for special features on this one, you get audio commentary with the star producer, Lawrence Dane, moderated by Lee Christian. And you get on-camera interviews with Lawrence Dane and Robin Gamel. Original trailers, a new 2018 scan. And I haven't popped this one in, this is region free. But I heard it's quite a bit better than the Code Red DVD that was put out several years back. And this one also came with the poster with the that image right there. But this was the original cover for Rituals. And this was the upgrade because I do have the Code Red DVD, which was spy number 24. And this was one of the earlier code red releases I know a lot of people complained about the transfer of this film but to me <clears throat> some of these films these horror films have that gritty drive-in feel that vibe to it and they these movies don't always have to be squeaky clean in my opinion but I had no problem with this whatsoever I thought this movie was good and I thought the quality was good I'm looking forward to checking it out on blu-ray so but again, it doesn't have to be squeaky clean when it's a, a horror movie like that, a drive-in style horror film. The next one is a blind buy for me. This is a Vinegar Syndrome release. This is a British film directed by a British filmmaker and all British cast. And this is called Bloody New Year. I never heard of this movie before and I never saw it. But Vinegar Syndrome always put some really some really good TLC into their releases. I mean, they really go all out for quality. And I mean, the, the slip cover is gorgeous. It's a wraparound because this, this right here is what the original cover was. So well, this, it's a two disc set. That's what the, that's the, um, not the original cover. I'm sorry, that's the commissioned art. That's what it looks like. This is the original cover right here. So it is a Blu-ray DVD combo. And there's the DVD. So I'm looking forward to diving into this one. I had never seen it before. I don't even really know what to expect out of it. So, But I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm glad Vinegar Syndrome releases the obscure and, and under the radar movies like that. And the big boy for this past week, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this release because at, if you go to the Indicator Powerhouse website in the UK, they still have copies of this. And I think I paid about $25 for this. But if you go on eBay, people are selling this for 70, 80 bucks already. And they're saying it's out of print, but you can still go to the Indicator Powerhouse website and still pick this up. This is the um, Collector's Deluxe Edition, and it comes with the book, a poster, and the Amore case of the movie. We're going to get into that here in a second. But they have since released just the Amore case of it, and even people on eBay are selling that for about 45, 50 bucks. So I don't know what's wrong with the secondary market and the sellers. Some of these people are nuts, but um, yeah, I just wanted to pass that along to you guys in case you missed out on this and you still want to get it. Don't pay high prices on eBay. Go right over to the Powerhouse website and you can buy that. And not only that, but they shipped it to me in about a week from the UK to the US. So they, they shipped it priority. This is the limited edition, two Blu-ray special edition. And I'm not going to go through all the special features, but look at what the, look at the TLC they put into this. I mean, that's incredible. 
and they sent me a couple of extra little freebies with this and I'll get into those. I put them, I tucked them away inside the case. I was gonna jump into this last night and I got really tired. I didn't even get a chance to pop it in, but this is the Amaray case. They have since released this as a single edition without the extras. And we're not gonna go through the special features again, but this was the Blu-ray here on the top. There is the DVD in the back. And it does have a reversible cover. And it has the alternate title, Curse of the Demon. Pop these back in. They sent me a little, a little card here that was pretty cool. I didn't really know what it meant at first. And it says, In Memoriam, It says, In Memoriam, Henry Harrington, Julian Carswell, Allowed Two Weeks, Lufford Hall, Warwickshire. And I found out that the lead, or one of the lead characters in the movie was the evil doctor, I guess. He was Dr. Carswell, and he was a Satanist, and he conjured this beast. I haven't seen it yet, but I thought that was pretty cool that they threw this in. And it wasn't inside the edition it was on like it was on top inside the box so i don't know if that's just something that they added and then they also gave me a like a little uh, leaflet with some of their previous titles so i'm a big big fan of indicator powerhouse i think they're great really like what they're doing and it makes me very happy to know that companies are still producing physical media and not only are they just producing it but they're they're really knocking it out of the park and that's 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 really good i mean when I start to see like Blockbuster's clothes and Toys R Us clothes and everybody wants to push for digital downloads, that's, that's not so good. But when I see companies like this putting out great releases, it makes me happy. It also comes with this pretty big size poster and it's, I'll, I'm going to open this up because it's a double sided, this, this has to be seen. And then I'll get into the book, but this is a beauty right here. It's a really thick stock paper. This, this is going to get a frame, I just don't know when, but there's one side right there. Demons, Monsters from Hell. And that's pretty cool right there, Night of the Demons. Like an old style throwback to the late 50s horror that this was. I was reading up a little bit about this movie, and I haven't seen it yet, but they said that the director always wanted to have the monster not seen, just implied. And he thought that would be as horrific as like showing a rubber monster. Just the thought of the monster being in the shadows or under the bed or whatever, not never being seen, but just the thought that he was there would scare people. And they didn't add a monster into this movie until the movie was done being directed and, and finished. And then they went back without the director's consent and they added a monster to it and that's the monster that they added. So I thought that was pretty interesting. The director did not want a monster, but I don't know if it was the producers or what. They decided that they thought it would sell a little bit better if it had an actual monster to be seen. So they went through without the uh, director's consent and they put it in there. And a lot of people were comparing this to an Alfred Hitchcock film, the way that it was directed and the, the way that the scenes were filmed. And there's a lot of write-ups in this book. I'm not going to go through every page, but it's, let me see if it has, it's about 80 pages, this booklet, or this book. So this is a beautiful, beautiful edition, and it was well worth 25 bucks. Let's see if I can tell you who the director was. I can't remember offhand. Directed by Jacques Torn Tournier. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. It is a film from 1957. It is a UK film. And there's two different cuts of the film on here. There's a 96 minute and an 82 minute. And it is black and white with English language. It is all region. It says it has mild horror and a seance scene. So if any of you have seen the movie, without giving any spoilers, let me know what I'm in for. 
as well as any of these other ones. If you want to comment on any of these four titles, please feel free to do so. Because that is all I have for today. And I just felt like recording a video. It's been really cold here in the state of Wisconsin. We got about two feet of snow in the past week. And then tonight we're supposed to get frigid temperatures. It's supposed to be below zero. And with the wind chill, it could be 30 to 60 below, they're saying. So it's going to just be like a chunk of an ice block out there. It's going to be like Siberia. So it's, I guess it's a good time to sit in and catch up on movies and catch up on YouTube. Speaking of which, please go down and subscribe to Stephanie Beaton and Controller Cramps. It would mean a lot to me. Let's keep the community growing. And that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Later.